Hello, Shadia. This is Dina, your online tutor. Here's the time to read another story. I hope you enjoy this one as well. Grow Your Own Room. Grow Your Own Room by Anne Hearth. Grow Your Own Room. Jack lay on his bed. He turned a page. He was at the best part. Harry Hero was dangling from a cliff. A mountain lion stood over him. Hey, someone snatched his book away. Come and get it, Jackie. Bart clutched the book and ran from the room. Jack raced after him. Mom, he yelled, tell him to give it back. Bart, Mom called, stop annoying your brother. Bart threw the book into the kitchen sink and ran back to the bedroom. Jack wiped off his book. I wish I had my own room, he said. Ah, Mom sighed. I wish you did too. Jack wandered outside. Maybe he could find some privacy. He looked around. The yard was bare. A sunflower grew in a large pot near the back fence. At school, they had grown sunflowers from seeds. Jack touched the petals. The plant towered over him. The flower was bigger than his head. Jack scraped his fingers along the middle of the flower. Seeds fell onto the ground. Jack picked them up. The small striped seeds covered his palm. Jack smiled. He had an idea. He found a stick and dug lots of small holes. They were in the shape of a circle. The circle was big enough to sit in. Jack dropped a sunflower seed in each hole. He covered them up with dirt and sprinkled them with water. Every morning, Jack visited his seeds. He sprinkled them with water. After three days, tiny green shoots popped through the ground. They made a bright green circle in the backyard. Jack stood in the middle of it and spun around. It's going to work, he whispered. The shoots grew thicker and taller. They reached Jack's knees. They grew a bit more. They reached Jack's waist. They grew even more. They reached Jack's shoulders. Jack watered his plants every day. Buds finally appeared at the top of the stems. They grew larger and fatter. One day, they burst open. Jack ran upstairs and grabbed a book. He raced into the yard and stepped between two sunflower stems. He turned slowly. The stems were thick and green. The sunflowers bobbed towards him and created a shady spot. Jack sat down. The back door slammed open. Jack, Bart called, where are you? Jack was still. He opened his book. Jack, Bart's voice sounded far away. Jack grinned. He had his own room. He turned a page. Harry Hero was in trouble again. That was a good book. I love growing garden, my own garden. Do you grow anything at home? Do you have a garden of your own? Or plant like to uh, grow things, maybe in a pot, on a balcony, or outdoors?
Now I have a few questions regarding this book, okay? So if you remember the story, how much time passes from the beginning of the story until the end? Do you remember? And the second question is, when won't Jack be able to enjoy his new room? Or why won't Jack be able to enjoy his new room? I hope you enjoyed listening to this story. Have a good day. Meet with you soon with a new story. Bye.